starting out today doing the front end got all my pieces out the buckets the extensions both sides they're both new reproduction ones uh, here's some of the stuff that I got to put on today I have outside door handles so I can open and close the doors easily you don't have to reach inside the door um, headlight buck and extension hardware more bolts for the front end pieces hood latch hood latch support um, front valence stone guard upper and lower so I got all the hardware, I got all the front pieces laid out here. Upper and lower stone guard, front valence is that Shelby style fiberglass. Because um, I had that one sitting around for a while. I think it'll look good with that hood on the front end. And then also I'm going to bolt on the rear stuff. Quarter extensions, rear valence, and I got the trunk lid. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Try to get all that bolted on, lined up as best as I can. So I'm going to start on the front end here. Just real quick, I wanted to add in the fact of just knowing, watching these, you see the time lapse of them, they don't go together that quickly. This front end probably took me about, probably about five hours, maybe six, just to line up this front end stuff from what you saw at end in yesterday's video. So I had the fenders, the hood on, those lined up. So just between the headlight buckets and the extensions, upper, lower stone guard, and that front valence, it's about five or six hours. You have to ream out holes to make things fit the best. Um, just to try and get everything to work together, it, it just takes a lot of time. Uh, and another thing, which I think is always funny, you can see my stack of uh, fender extensions. I have, I've had these for a while and I always keep collecting them because every fender extension fits a little bit different. Um, you can see the light brown ones are the reproduction ones, all the other ones are original ones that I've kept. And usually the original ones fit the best, which in this case, both of these are originals that I blasted. And they were the only ones that 
really kind of fit that contour of the fender. The other ones were way off. <laughs> uh, so just a fun fact that I wanted to point out, just the amount of stack. I went through all those until I found the one that fits the best. Every car is a little bit different. Every fender is a little bit different from what I found, so. All right, so I got everything bolted on, everything's welded on except for the dash. I got to put that in, that's the last thing. I just prepped it, uh, made sure that fits. So I'll do that tomorrow, but entire front end is on, lined up, back end on and lined up. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is that dash and set all the gaps. I got to go back now that I have all the gaps where they can be with the panels that are on it. I'm gonna go back and just make all of them right. So they're even the whole way down. Um, door gaps, trunk gap, uh, hood a little bit, uh, but that's some fiberglass work that needs done on that, but it fits pretty good. So that'll be what I'm doing tomorrow. Just set all the gaps, get that dash in, and finish this car up after that. This, this car is done. The shell's done. I just got to get suspension on it so I can move it, and whoever is going to buy it then can roll it wherever they want. It's easy to put on the shipping that way. So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So thanks for watching this video. Look forward to that one. And this car will be done. I'll eventually have it on those four wheels, put it outside and do a good walk around on it. But for tomorrow, just finish up those gaps and then we'll show those gaps off. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.